Welcome to another Brew City Marketing training video. Uh, the purpose of this video is going to be managing your menu system. Um, that is going to coincide with what you see in the top navigation. Uh, also, you may have a site where there's a menu system used below in the footer. Uh, this particular demo doesn't utilize that, uh, but we're going to go through kind of that use case anyway. Um, if you are in the back end, um, as we uh, use on the other videos, um, there's this left side menu. Under appearance, there is a uh, item called menus, which we're going to go to right now. Um, you'll see that we have a number of items here that coincide with this top menu. Um, everything's drag and drop. So if you want to reorder things, that's very simple. You just move it to the placement that you would like it to. Um, I'll just do a little demo of that quick. I will move pricing up front and save the menu. And then if we refresh this, uh, we'll see that that has moved to the uh, top of the uh, menu system or the left on the front end. Um, we're just going to move that back and save it. Um, additionally, um, you'll see that this book online button um, has kind of different settings uh, than the rest. If you expand each of these menu items, um, there are um, other options you can go into by clicking this button. Uh, you'll see that this is set to button small, um, which basically gives it that yellow um, background and the kind of uh, curved edges and everything like that. Um, you can apply that to other menu items as well. Uh, there's also the ability to add icons to them. Um, let's say we want to add this little icon here. It might not be styled correctly, but we're going to save that and check it out anyway. And you'll see that added a little icon to the menu item, um, which is great. Um, when adding new items, you'll have a couple options here. There, there are posts, which I wouldn't uh, think that you would need to use very often. Um, most often, you're going to be adding a new page to the menu. Um, there also is a custom links section. Let's say you want an external link to either, um, let's say you have a payment software or another website you want to direct people to. You can do that by typing in a URL here and the link text and adding to the menu. And as you expand this, uh, you'll also see the option to open that in a new window, which you'll always want to check if it's an external site. If you don't see this option for whatever reason, uh, you can go to the screen options at the top of the page, and there is this little link target um, item that you can toggle on and off. Um, toggling that, having that checked will make sure that that's available. Um, another thing to note when you're working with these menu systems is that when you expand these, you can actually change the navigation label without changing the page title. Let's say you have a page title that's very long, um, very verbose, five, six, seven words more. Um, you can go in here and edit this to uh, whatever you want the page title to be, and it will reflect it on the menu system, but not change it on the actual page itself. Um, so I'm just going to refresh this, and we can see we added the new item, which is an external link. Clicking on that is going to make this pop up in a new window and keep the site intact so people still have it. Um, and this was the news item that I updated. And you'll see that this is still the news page with all these settings that we have here. Um, outside of that, that's basically it. Um, if you do have a more complex site that uses multiple menus, um, there is a drop down at the very top here um, to select a menu to edit. Um, sometimes we'll have two, three, four menus on some sites. Um, you just select the appropriate one. We usually label them pretty obviously. There's usually a main menu, um, and then there is a, we'll call it a footer menu or something along those lines if it's on another part of the site. Uh, we also have these different areas where they're displayed. Um, I wouldn't imagine that that is used very often or changed, but there are some other options if you wanna make a menu system, specifically the mobile spot. Um, and override the normal main menu, which will um, be on all devices naturally. Um, that's about it for this particular video, and we'll see you on the next one.